Hundreds of thousands of Sims die on any given day. A common misconception is that I'm the one to blame. <laughs> no, the truth is that old age, fire, and anger claim more lives than any other forms of death. I'm just the Reaper. Ooh. Mine is a humble profession that got its start with, well, life. I have many grim turns who join me in this dutiful career, helping to carry souls to the other side as they advance to Reapers. And we have a very high percentage rate of hitting our weekly quotas. <laughs> Those who live a life chased by death certainly improve our odds. You all know who you are. But hey, you have to admit these Sims seize every moment. <laughs> The number of young adults that don't consider what they ultimately want to accomplish with their life is staggering. Taking ownership of your life's journey can have many benefits after all. Your wants, traits, aspirations, these contribute to a life. Take it from me, they're not enough. A bucket list, however, is a scientifically proven method of ensuring you find fulfillment. You can always scrap the list, start over, or do more. Just start. Better to do today what you could have done tomorrow. You never know when the cold touch of death will find you. <laughs> Sorry. In fact, I'd seriously consider getting a will drawn up, if I were you. Seven out of ten souls regret not having one after they've died. Get your affairs in order. It may be your last chance to tell those you leave behind how you truly feel about them. Did you know the earliest grave markers are almost as old as me? I am fascinated with the many ways you living souls memorialize your dead. If I had lips, I'd be smiling. Sorry, I've been told I lack a certain connection with mortality. I have an affinity for those whose defining trait is the macabre. But there are also skeptics among you. I get it, I'll do better. TLDR point is, you died. Now what? At the time of death, most souls think it's game over. No, no, no. There's a whole state of life waiting beyond the veil. Hey, I get it. It's a lot. I'm a lot. Uh, this whole thing, it's, it's just, it's a lot. You can choose to move on. But there are also resources to help you cope. And even if you've finished your bucket list, you may find you have new desires as a ghost. And new powers to help you complete your unfinished business. You can use your powers for good to make life a little easier for others. Or ride the line of neutrality and keep the status quo. On the other hand, maybe you want to get a little nasty. <laughs> oh, no judgments here, literally. I have no morality. Ah, oh, wonderful. Dimitri completed his unfinished business. I respect a soul that finishes what they've started. Now Dimitri's ghostly powers won't get burnt out. And should he choose to be reborn, he'll basically, I, I don't know, be better than he was the first time around. Yeah, rebirth. It's a real hot button issue back at the office. <laughs> Simply put, it is possible to bring pieces of yourself into your next life. Things like childhood skills and reward traits. You can start fresh at any age. Even change your appearance. Come back as your own great-grandchild. Or join your rich neighbor's household. I'm not able to do it myself, so I can't endorse it. But a whole new aspect of life is available to those who return to the living. So don't fear death. Just embrace what's next. Buy by December 12th to get the Macabre Mementos digital content. You won't regret it. <laughs> <laughs>